discussing about importance of sunnah of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and invention of the holy quran sunnah is the way of life prescribed as normative for muslims on the basis of teachings and practices of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and interpretation of the holy quran it is necessary for all muslims around the world to follow the sunnah in every matter of their life this video will guide you how to drink water in accordance with the sunnah of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and it is for all without a distinction muslims or non muslims i would like to share some important points in front of you that we should care while drinking water the first one take a clean glass and fill pure the water according to your daily requirement do not drink too much water in a short time period even if you are very thirsty Drinking water is healthy but it's in an improper way is not so that so that main thing is do not drink water in a short time period the modern science proved that when a person drink too much water in a short time period the kidneys cannot flush it out fast and blood becomes water logged which can strangely becomes a cause of death so my friends do not drink too much water in a short time period even if you are very thirsty especially after play or any hard work we will be very thirsty and we will be drink water too much water in a short time period the second one recite bismillahir rahmanir rahim the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said when commencing to drink water recite bismillahir rahmanir rahim by this act we actually praise almighty allah who gave us water to drink which nobody can survive on earth the third one drink water which is the right hand like most of other daily routine works are said to be performed with the right hand and drinking water also among them the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said never eat and drink water by left hand because the shaitan eats and drink with his left hand hadith by muslim the fourth one sit down and drink water sit down and drink water it's very very important point everyone is in a hurry for something but that should not stop us from taking a moment to sit down and drink water in a healthy way the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said sit down and drink water and also he said now no few should drink water while standing or if anyone forgot to sit down if he can vomit please must vomit hadith by turmudi the modern science the new england journal of medicine show that when a person drinking water while standing there are many harmful effect will cause such as arthritis indigestion urinary tract diseases kidney damages heartburn stomach ulcer and other harmful effect will be caused if you are drinking water while standing so my friends we are very careful and we have to inform our family members and our friends and all our related members sit down and drink water the fifth one while drinking water take three breathing pauses it is prohibited to drink water in a single gulp this act we normally do when we are extremely busy or when we are extremely thirsty do not drink water in a single gulp the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said do not drink water in a single gulp but drink it two in two or three gulps the modern science studies show that when a person drink water in a single gulp there are many harmful effect will be caused like choking of esophagus and especially weakness of nerves and muscles and it also detrimental for the liver and stomach so do not drink water in a single gulp the sixth one while drinking water do not blow or exhale from your mouth into the glass narrated by ibn abbas radiyallahu anha the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said 
do not blow or exhale from your mouth into the water and food. The modern science proved that when a person exhaling carbon dioxide into the glass, it will cause to react and reform of carbonic acid. It can disturb your internal environment and it also lead to acidosis. The last one, after your drink, say Alhamdulillah. So my friends, we have to be very careful while drinking water, especially we will get more sunnah of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at a moment. I would like to conclude by giving an hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Man ahabba sunnati wa man ahabbani wa man ahabbani kana ma'i fil jannah. If anyone liked my sunnah, he liked me. If anyone liked me, he will be in paradise with me. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum.